second time in less than a month a volcano has erupted in Iceland. This time it engulfed the fishing town of Grindavik. Iceland's President Johansson has described the disaster as a black day for his country. The president has stated that no lives are in danger. However, a vast amount of infrastructure may be under threat. Over 4,000 residents from Grindavik were evacuated as a precaution in November. The authorities then built defences to prevent the lava from reaching the homes. However, the latest eruption has penetrated the town's defences, raising alarms. A volcano erupted in southwest Iceland on Sunday. It's the second volcanic eruption on the Reykjanes Peninsula in less than a month. The eruption, which began in the early hours, posed an immediate threat to a small nearby fishing town. But authorities said that the area north of Grindavik had been evacuated the previous day, over fears that an outbreak was imminent amid an uptick in seismic activity. Early morning video footage from the site showed fountains of molten rock and bright orange lava spewing from fissures in the ground. Authorities have been building barriers of earth and rock in recent weeks to try to prevent lava from reaching Grindavik, some 25 miles southwest of the capital Reykjavik. But the latest eruption appeared to have penetrated the town's defences. A spokesperson told public broadcaster RUV that, based on flow models, it could take the lava a few hours to reach Grindavik if it continued to head towards the town. The eruption marks the fifth in Reykjanes since 2021. This morning was that an eruption started uh, very close to Grindavik, which is very serious. Um, we have been following the development of the rupture since, and actually the barriers that we have been building, even though they are not finished, we have seen that they are actually you know, providing some protection for the town, so the lava has changed its direction. But then around noon we had a new shock when a fissure opened within the town and there is lava flowing up from that fissure. Already uh, several houses have gone under lava, so it's a very serious situation we're faced with here right now. It's tough in many ways, but I am optimistic by nature and I try to maintain optimistic. But, you know, this is, this is big, this is serious. It's basically as bad as can possibly get. Although it might get even worse, who knows. So, I mean, I'm born in this town. I actually live in the house that I'm born in. And it's kind of, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough thought to think that, that this town might be over. And I would have to start all over somewhere else. But if that's the case, then that's exactly what we'll do.